So if I want to animate my story, that knock knock no joke between John and Lisa, one of the first things I want to do is to hire my actors, right? I mean, this cat's a nice little character to get started with, but it's not really the, the characters I want. I want a nice boy representing John and a girl representing Lisa to tell my knock knock joke. And so the first thing I need to do is to get some new actors, some new sprites into here. And there's four ways that you can produce new characters in Scratch. And they're all located right here in this region between the stage and the area where the sprites are, whole, are contained. And it says new sprite. And you'll see there's four different icons here you can use. And if you hover over one of them, over any of them, right, you, it'll, it'll tell you what it is that that does. So we're going to look at all four of them. The easiest one really is to choose sprite from library. Scratch comes preloaded with a whole bunch of existing sprites, right? Some people images, both photographic images and cartoon images, some animal images, bats and bears and things. And as we kind of scroll down here, you'll see fish and puppy dogs and dinosaurs and you know monkeys and penguins and you know eventually baseballs and basketballs and uh, drums and just I mean just a whole hodgepodge of things that the creators of Scratch think students might use. Use. And you can look at all of them at once, or you can come over and, and, and break it down by category or theme. So I want some people, and I want to hire you know John and Lisa. And so uh, Boy One actually turns out to be a pretty good version uh, of John. So I can you know hire John by double clicking on him. And let me also get Lisa. Uh, Lisa's also in the people, and she's down here as Girl One. These are pretty good basic sprites. That, that I can use to help me tell my story. And so that comes again by using these preloaded sprites that are already part of Scratch. There are other ways that you can do this. If you don't find what you're looking for, you can always choose to paint one yourself. So the second icon, paint new sprite. If we do that, we get a region that's a little bit like a Microsoft Paint, Microsoft Draw uh, kind of very simple paint editor. Yeah, truthfully, your students will love playing with this. They can spend a lot of time just, just you know, kind of messing around with this. Uh, let's see here. I want to create just maybe a smiley face, for example. So I'm going to make a circle, pick the color of yellow, and so let me make a basically a circle, and then it's hollow, so let me fill it in. And then uh, let's see. Let's let's put a red mouth on that. So I'll pick a new color, and there's a paintbrush, right? So I can draw whatever I want here, and your students will again. They'll like playing with this. They like to create their own sprites, and that's one of the things that we can do. The third option is suppose that you have a particular idea in mind. Maybe you are a uh, Peyton Manning fan, and you want to have a you know Peyton Manning as part of your uh, game or your story. Or maybe I want to include one of my kids with this. Well, I actually can import any sort of standard uh, graphic into Sprite. And so I can go to out to, this is my, my picture library on my computer. And if I come down here, let's see, here's a picture of my son. And it takes a little bit to, to upload those images. But it will upload this picture of my son. And in fact, I can uh, come in to the costumes with him and, and edit his costume a little bit. Uh, where is it? Oops, sorry. Here we go. I can edit this, and so if I wanted to only have him in here, uh, I might come in and you know grab the eraser and uh, sort of erase this this background behind him. Go back to that checkerboard background, which means there's no. Uh, eraser, there's no background there, and I, I won't take the time to do all of this, but, but your students like to do this. They can come in and sort of clean out all of this region and uh, erase all this out, and then just have a nice you know, picture of what you're looking for from uh, a folder. And the last way to do this is to actually use a built-in camera. If you're using a computer that has a webcam or a built-in camera, you can actually access that by clicking on this new sprite. And you may have to uh, al allow some permissions, but I can do this. And now I've just activated my, my camera on my uh, laptop, and I can take a picture of me. And there we go. It's saving that out. I clicked that button. And it's saving eventually. And again, I could now come into the, the costume for, for this particular sprite and erase some of this background if I wanted to. Right. And you're starting to see a little bit of it there. And I, could, and I could erase that out and sort of trim everything around and only have a picture of a cheesy picture of me in here. Okay. 
Well, in fact, uh, I want to show you all those, but I'm really only interested in, in the boy one and girl one that I wanted. I don't want these extras. And so if I want to fire all these other ones, I can just right click on each of these sprites and delete them from my, my program. And I don't want any of these extras that I drew. In fact, I don't even need the cat anymore. I just want to have uh, John and Lisa. Now, right now, they have names boy one and girl one. Suppose you actually wanted to call them John and Lisa, because uh, as you'll see later in this module, it'll be helpful to be able to call them by name. So the one last thing we're going to show you is how to do that. If you click on the I for each of these uh, icons, or for each of these sprites, you'll see that there's a box here where we can name each of these. And so I'm going to rename. I want this to be John, and then we'll close that out. And I want this to be Lisa. And there we go. I now have scripts for John and Lisa that I can use. And for each of those sprites that I've or opened, I have multiple uh, costumes that they each wear. Right? We looked at that a little bit when I was editing myself. I can, I can put Lisa in different poses if I wanted to. She comes preloaded with Scratch with a couple of different things. I'm just going to stay with, with the first version of each of these. Okay? And so that's how we create new actors. Now that we know how to create additional sprites, different actors for our story, we also are going to be interested in how to look at additional backgrounds for our story instead of just that plain white background that we've been looking at. So we'll look at that in our next lesson.